What's up, everyone? It's Christina from the Glazer Tutoring Company, and today we have a very important question to answer. Today, right, we have to figure out if this given ordered pair is a solution to this system of equations, right? Determine whether the given ordered pair is a solution to the system of equations. Now, we have two formulas here. If you have two or more formulas as a whole, or two or more equations as a whole, that is what is considered the system. Okay. Now, the ordered pair that is being discussed here is this. An ordered pair is basically just a point on a graph, right? And we know points, right? We know that any point can be broken down into two letters, right? Usually, or always, basically, the first letter is always your x-coordinate, and the back letter is always y, right? So it's always x, comma, y. So that means that my x value is a negative 1, and my y value is a 1. Now, how are we going to figure out if this point is a solution? Well, in both of these equations, we got x and y values. So, in order to basically solve this, to see if it makes sense, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in the x value that they told us, right? So for both equations, my x value is going to be a negative 1. Okay, not bad. And then my y value that they told me was both a positive 1. And now we're going to plug it in and see if the equation makes sense. I guess I'll do the top value on the left side, and I'll do the bottom equation on the right side. So let's just write it out. We love the colors here. So we're going to say negative 2 times the x value, which is a negative 1. And then we're going to add it to 5 times a positive 1, which is the y value. And this should equal 7. Now let's just... I guess substitute in our x's and y's for the second one. 2 times the negative 1. And then we're going to add 9 to it. Right? 9 times the y value, which of course is 1, right? And then we're going to see if that equals 7. Okay, so let's solve it now. Negative 2 times a negative 1 is a 2, plus 5 times 1, if we don't know this by now, I don't know what to say, but 5 times 1 is 5, right? And this should equal 7. Let's see, 2 plus 5, ah, uh, 7 equals 7. So this makes sense, right? The same number is on both sides. 7 obviously equals 7. So we're going to give this a big check. And if you get a check for the left equation, in our case, right, the top one, then we should get a check for the other one. Let's see. So we have... 2 times a negative 1 is a negative 2, plus 9 times 1 is 9, and this should all equal 7. Negative 2 plus 9 is a 7. So in this case, yeah, I mean, works out, right? So in this case, is negative 1, comma 1 a solution to the ordered pairs? You are absolutely correct. It is. So we're going to say a big yes. This is a solution. And now... What does that actually mean? Well, just to put it into a little bit of context, right? I see that I just have one x value and one y value, meaning I don't have any x squares or y squares or cubes. So x and y, that's a linear equation for both of these. The solution is basically when those two equations intersect each other. So when you have that intersection, that's a solution. So in this case, the intersection point is negative 1, comma 1. And that's what this basically means. So, yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for viewing the video. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, just gets the word out there that this YouTube channel exists. Thank you so much for all your kind comments in the, uh, I guess, the chat. Uh, we try to get back to you as much as we can in our in our spare time. So thank you so much for being a part of this community. We have memberships open on the channel if you guys want to be a member. Um, we have different tiers, so maybe one might suit your fancy. Um, but yeah, go check it out. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you uh, in the next lesson, okay? Have a great day. Bye-bye.